What's up, Stone? Um, I am making you this series of videos to show you how to hook up your receiver and just show you the features. Um, I figure what better way to show you than to just have it here in front of me and uh, point everything out. So, looking at the front, you have your power button, turn it off and on. Um, these are presets for the radio. Uh, which you'll see the station here and you can like tune in um, to different stations. You can also use this to tune up or down the different radio stations, um, switching between AM and FM, uh, memory, and you can program these. I think you just hold it like if you're on a station, you hold memory in P5 and then it'll program it to that station. So you can have like I don't know, just probably more stations than you need nowadays. It's probably only like one or two good stations out there right now. Um, but yeah, so that, that's the, the radio functionality in this receiver. Um, and to do that, you just hit tuner and uh, tuner will tune to the radio. Uh, so yeah, so that's the radio. I need to, I'm gonna mail you an FM antenna. That's one thing I forgot to get. Um, so I'll send that to you in the mail later. I will usually include them free with these, but I uh, I was in a rush to get out of there, so I didn't get to get those. Um, next, you got your speaker selector. So this is how you change between the set of speakers you want. So you have like set A or set B or set A and B. Um, you're only going to be using one of them, so set A, uh, which is these boys right here. So, um, yeah, so just, uh, have that engaged when you turn it on, um, and you'll be good to go, uh, going with that just below it, you have your headphone output. Um, so like, let's say it's late at night and you want to listen to your turntable on headphones, which I highly recommend cause it sounds super cool. Uh, and really just like intimate and detailed. You just turn off your speakers and then you'll still get volume to your headphones, which you can can control with this volume knob here. Um, so there's that. And then uh, this record out. This is if you want to record a source on the back of here. There are um, there's an output and you can record your source. One sec. You have a tape out, so you could record tape uh, out or use this tape as a ta as another aux input. So you actually have one aux input, two aux input, three aux input, four aux input, and then these two are record outs. So you could record out from there. Um, one thing you can do is add something in between there, like what I have here. This little two buffer guy you could put this um running the aux in from your record out and then the output of this into your input and then just have the tape loop engage and then everything that you play will get passed through this device or whatever device you have in there um so that's a cool feature i'm gonna put this down real quick oh i guess i might as well show you uh, these are your speaker terminations. So basically, remember how I was saying you have set A and B. Um, there's set A and there's set B. So right now I just have them hooked in the set A and you have your right and your left. Um, and so basically when you're positioning your speakers, your right speaker is going to be on the right side and your left speaker is gonna be on the left side. Um, but down here, it's gonna be like right and left. So yeah, you just wanna make sure that's straight. Um, I'm gonna show you a link to some speaker wire you should get, and that will uh, that will improve the, the sound. This is just like um, lampshade. I'm gonna send you this, like it works, it's fine. But um, as you can see, there's like exposed wires and stuff, and that's not good. Cause over time these will corrode and they'll also have the potential to touch each other. And you don't want positive and negative signals touching while the amp's on, it'll it'll short your amp out, or can short your amp out, or blow your speaker. So you don't want to do that. Um, so you want everything to be separate. Um, yeah. So there's the speaker outs, and then in regards to the turntable, 
you want to plug your turntable into the funnel input and use this little grounding post uh, to ground the, uh, the table. The table has a grounding wire, which I'll show you momentarily. Um, not gonna lie, I went to my friend's birthday last night and I'm very hungover right now, but I'm trying to do my best to show you this. Uh, I hope it's not too scattered and I hope it's pretty straightforward still. Um, so each one of those inputs on the back corresponds with inputs on the front. So your tape ins are those two tape ins I showed you. Your video aux can be like your aux cable, your phone. Like uh, I'm gonna send you a link to a little Bluetooth device for like 25 bucks you should totally get. Um, and that'll let you just stream Bluetooth to this thing from your phone. Uh, you can do everything from the couch because you got the remote, you did. So um, this isn't the OG remote. I had to find this and test it out. Um, this is just like, a, this was in a box of remotes that we have but it's sleek and it works um, and it's cool. Like when you, when you adjust the volume, this knob goes up and down. So it's a mechanical knob. Mine does that too. Um, and this is pretty dope, but yeah, this thing sounds real good. Um, excited for you to check it out. So basically, yeah, when you want to turn turntable, click phono short for phonograph, and then you'll have your record player. If you want to plug something into the CD input or, you know, the aux, either one of these aux inputs, you could totally do that. Um, tuner is for the radio. This is the record out function. So this is how you choose what input you want to send out. So like if you want to send this video aux out, you go to record out aux and then you can send that signal out or do the tape loop thing I was showing you. Um, and just mess with it, dude. You're not going to break it. You can do a ton of stuff with this thing. You're not going to break it. Um, mess with it. These are your tone controls. So this is like for your bass. Middle is defeat, which means it's not on. Um, engaging it will just turn it up or down. You can play with that. Same thing with the treble. Uh, the balance is for your left and right speaker. You shouldn't have to adjust this. Um, just leave it in the middle. The only time you really want to use this is if you had the speakers not equally apart. But like, as you can see, you kind of just want them equally distant from where you're going to be sitting. Uh, and they should sound pretty good like that. Um, yeah, so there's that. This loudness button, this is like a loudness engager. And Yamaha, this series does this really specifically where... Um, it's like a different way than most other ones. Uh, as you engage it, this is flat, so that's not gonna do it. As you engage it, and you really probably shouldn't put it past like three, but the volume is, is going to automatically diminish. But what happens is all these sonic frequencies increase uh, in volume. So like you'll get more bass and more mid range with the loudness engaged at a lower volume. So this is designed to be used. You can do it as sort of like a tone control to make it like just sound better, like more pleasing. But what it's designed to do is allow you to listen at a, at a low volume. So like, you know, if, it's, if you got neighbors or people are sleeping in the crib and you still wanna listen to music, but you want it to not sound thin, You'd, you'd engage this loudness a bit. It'll bring the volume down, but boost the bass and everything. And then you just turn it up really gently there. Uh, yeah. And then uh, if you want to reset it, just put it back to flat and then everything will uh, go back and then you can just mess with it normally. Um, that's basically it. There's a bass extension button here, which just adds kind of like a little boost, like a little bass boost. It's cool. Um, you can play with it. It's not, uh, yeah, like you might like how it sounds, you might not. Um, but that's basically it. I really like this thing. It looks much sleeker in person. I really like can't wait for you to see it in person. It looks really cool. Um, just like solid. Uh, you can see all the internals there. It's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to hook up your turntable and uh, show you what it, how, to, how to do that and what that sounds like. Peace.